Huh, here is your Wednesday workout. Uh, grab a kettlebell, maybe a mat if you'd like. Go through your warm up uh, exercises and then your mobility complex. You get the option of the pigeon, the frog, or the scorpion. I'll remind you some of those good different stretches. You're definitely going to want to work uh, stretching those hamstrings today. I'll tell you why in a second. We got a Tabata, which is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. You're going to do that eight times at a station. Most stations. Uh, have two exercises, so you just uh, alternate between the two exercises. Uh, I'll go through all nine stations at the end of that. You should have an amazing day. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, again, uh, so we got the warm up, we got a swing, we got a squat, the plank swings. All right, the hands on the ground, just a warm up, so keep both hands on the ground. I like this little stretch of the hamstring, a little stretch of the shoulders as we do that. Keep the core tight. We're gonna do a little, uh, I forget the yoga term for that, but you can do a little bit of that and get the lower back stretched out. That works as well. Lunge reached in, twist, skaters, mobility complex, you know. So we know the pigeon, the frog, similar position is put those knees out to the side and kind of get low. Back and forth, that'll help open up the hips a little bit, flexors, the groin, stretch that out. And then, if you want the scorpion, it's a good lower back stretch with those lying down with those uh, arms out to the side, bring that foot over as much as you can. You can touch that hand, that helps uh, a little stretch of the lower back as well. Oh, benches in the way. So, anyways, some options for your warm up workout. We're gonna start with the bench. Start with the dumbbells and gonna be alternating your bench press. So start with them up, one at a time, down and up. So again, we're going 20 seconds on, 10 seconds, and you're gonna go alternating rows back and forth. Alright? So maybe you have a couple different sets of dumbbells for that one. Heavier usually when you're pressing, uh, sorry, heavier usually when you're pulling up versus when you're on the bench pressing up. So do each one four times. So good chance to go heavy with your bench press. You don't have to count if you don't want to. And then the bent over rows. Okay. So a little new one here. We're gonna keep the heels in the trainer for our suspension trainers. And again, we'll have a minute to rotate from station to station. So the goal here with the what we're calling these the bent knee hip raise. So with your uh, back on the ground. And hips up a little bit so your knees are slightly bent and uh sorry with your knees slightly bent with hips down as you kind of hip raise you straighten the legs up just a little bit so just a little motion of pushing the hips up and the knees don't have to totally lock out straight you're more just kind of dropping the hips pushing the hips up and the knees start bent and they go to kind of a straight position then we're gonna to go to hamstring runner. So simple position. Now we're gonna bring the knees in. All right, that's it. So press those heels into the trainers. All right, hands off the ground. Make that a lot more difficult. And now's your two exercises. So again, to the slight bent knee, hip raise, hip raise, and then hamstring runners. That will get those hamstrings working. Like I said, stretch those hamstrings out. Then number three is going to be a skier. So 20 on, 10 off. Max out your calories. Um, that's it for that. With our kettlebell, we have our kettlebell. We've got our swings and big heavy kettlebell for your swings. Lighter kettlebell for your curl, press, and extension. Then from the kettlebells, we'll go sandbags. Get a sandbag. Toss it on your shoulders. Leave it on there the whole time. You're going to do reverse lunge. And then we got squats. All right, then we hop on the bike, max out your RPMs on that. If you can, 60 to 80 RPMs for that one. All right, Osu push-up. A lot of different ways we can do this one. So you can do it with the hands on, all right? You can go on the side, do the hands on this side. It's kind of a funky move. You can go one hand on, one hand off, and switch, going back and forth. Um, you can put your feet on here, do a little decline, push up. Uh, I don't know how well these things bounce. You can do a little plyo. <sighs> those are kind of difficult, wouldn't do those too much. But um, you got a lot of different options for your push ups. And then you're alternating two toe touch. All right. Now we're going to side. Alternating toe touch. Try to get the shoulders below the hips, get that little extra work on the core. 
And then we go to our slam ball. Shouldering. Pick up that ball. Get then we get a nice heavy ball. Pick that ball up. Toss it over the shoulder. All right, go back and forth through that one. And then more climbers. Spider climbers. Put that hand on the ball. Bring the foot up by the hand. Back and forth. And of course, finish with the row. Max out those calories. Sprint, sprint, sprint. So we sprint on our machines. And we go heavy with our weights. Makes for an amazing day. That's all. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. We'll see you at the gym.